Hi, and welcome with Angel Messages with Elena. I am doing something different um, for what other people do in the monthly outlook. I have actually assigned different months. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen in those months, but um, the meaning behind it is what's going to be bringing us forward. So I have a lot of things written down for, we have five weeks in March and we're going to use the 31st into April as the full fifth month. This is so that we can get into the routine and not having to like start, stop all the time. We are also into a couple of Jewish holidays this month, um, as well as to Christianity for Ash Wednesday. And I think it's really interesting how everything is really being powerful now for the big things that are coming. So it's so much fun. So I'm using the uh, Angel Tarot and these are beautiful cards. Let me just show you. Um, yeah, th they look a little dainty, but they're beautiful. So they're gold on the edges and they're all the Victorian style back in those ages. So I really love these cards. Um, they're sweet, they're gentle. So anyone who's interested in doing an angel reading with just a one card, um, because the messages are really clear and concise with all of these. And then I'm also using the goddess power. So the goddess power is what is the mother divine is backing. So she's using all the goddesses to tell the story. How exciting is that? Let me just turn this down. Okay, so the first week of March is from the 3rd through the 9th. That is considered the first full week of March. And we have the Messenger of Thought. So the Messenger of Thought is that you have a lot to learn, that this is a great time to organize, review your documents more carefully during this week. You need to listen to all points of view, so don't get into um, that you have to always input your, your, um, your opinion. Or and this is probably is not the right time to input that, but instead um, do some documentation on that. And um, you could be this brilliant and truthful person, but don't be so blunt and be more diplomatic during this uh, time. We are, let's see, and then halfway through on the 7th, the evening of the 7th, which is Rosh Kadesh, it's the 8R2, it's Jewish New Year, and it is about. Light and eminence of the house. It's remarkable and dazzling, marvelous, superb, fantastic, glorious one. So that's what we want to think of during the middle of this week is uh, how glorious everything is. Even though it's a dark, there's going to be, um, I think it's a Mercury retrograde that is going to make us look at different things to shift to bring us out of the old and old traditions because those are coming to a pass really quick. I mean, religion is not even going to be on the table anymore. So the, uh, to support that, we have Iris. And Iris is of communication. So yeah, I love it how she came onto this and, um, and just kind of says, okay, yeah, we need to watch our words. But also, um, there is a lot of beautiful things um, because her month is the month of May for um, how she's coming through. And she is about um, the celebration of life. We get, that's when the growth starts to happen. So you're going to get growth in this kind of a communication and her number is 222 and look at how beautiful and rainbows rainbows is promise the promise that god went cover everything with water but not to say that he didn't send a person whose name means water and she's flooding the floor right now or flooding the world right now and people don't even know it maybe they're just like ah okay so there was a second card that was pulled it was the two abundance and this is she just beautiful this is in this time of this week, we want to be playful. We want to have fun. We want to get into that childlike of, you know, when you got the creativity going on, you want to take a break and rest. 
but always have something a little playful around there. So, you know, be playful in text messaging, um, be playful in documentation, be playful on um, the color. I mean, think like a child during this time. This is the childlike trust that the divine is asking us to do. So this is a great time to really start working with manifestation and because the appearances are coming and they're coming really quick. So this is a time to really tap into that. There's all kinds of new opportunities to enjoy your downtime. So when you do take some time off, do some self-care. Like I spent some time and did my hair um, and did my makeup. So uh, do some stuff that is going to enforce the downtime. And remember to balance yourself all this week of this third through the ninth. You want to balance. Also, um, let's see. Don't want to get too long in here because it takes forever to upload these. But in the month of May, as Iris has come through, is through the site. But it's also, um, it, it expresses possibility of being free. So freedom. So if you're looking to be released of bondage and healing, um, this is a week to really ask for it. Um, you have the expectation that um, the goddess Maya actually comes through and she's the goddess of the Pilates, Pilates and messenger to the gods. So it's um, about the great one and expectations. Moving on to March 10th through the 16th. This is our second week. The second week um, to me is really getting into the child. Okay, so you had the first week that was in there, but that's more for the leadership part with prayers and songs, um, choir direction, you know, conducting. So now we're coming into the second week where we're tapping into more of our child, more mother, more sister kind of energy. So we have the messenger of emotion for this week from the 10th through the 16th of March. It is about intuition and being guided by it. It's not like, oh, I'm going to think this, I'm going to do this. No, it's like really using your intuition. This is a very powerful time during this week to let your angels guide you, to let divine guide you. I mean, listen to your emotional compass as well. So like when you feel like you're getting really <gasps> about to erupt or cry, really tap into those emotions and ask why is this a time uh, that this is blowing up in me now after all these years? The, because March is about, it's about getting the baggage gone. <laughs> it's like lifting up and putting it aside, but it's about healing. So this is a very healing March month for everyone. Um, ask for signs that you are going to be guided and you will um, be answered by it. Our angels are always with us 100% of the time. And then we have the goddess Maet. Isn't she just beautiful? And she is about truth. Oh my goodness. So if we're talking about truth, it's like truth is going to be exposed. It's going to be like right here. Hello. Um, that's why I, I wear sapphires and that's why I got two different kinds of sapphires on my bracelet. I have sapphires because truth, people are going to resonate with truth. No more hiding behind things. Religion is going to be a big key that you think you know what the truth is and the interpretations of how God intended it to write it is out and then it's open and it's being revealed. Ask for the signs. This is also the week, um, the 10th is a daylight savings time. So that's when we bring, jump forward, okay? So this is a great time to really jump ahead and, and ask the angels and ask divine to bring you forward a little bit so that you can um, get the manifestations to go. This is um, the month that comes up for... Amayat is July and July is the seventh month and I look at it as like Julie or John that this is the time to make big to enlarge so the truth is going to enlarge so this is also the gestation process so the things that you're putting out there the seedlings they're growing under the ground in the womb this is a time that it's it's being cared and nurtured it's really great um, also, that is also the time for, um, August comes up 
uh, again, and um, what is being brought up is that there is a soothsayer, there is a sage, that they're telling you what the signs are, and you need to listen. They're, they're pointing you to the direction. So if you're asking for the guidance, that the guidance may be right in front of you, and um, they are going to... She is, because I really feel that it's a woman. She is going to keep leading you and to, uh, and we're going to celebrate this. This is like days of celebration that is happening during this week. Um, lots. Yeah. It's just like, um, like in the gods, Apollo, when they used Delphi and other sages, they would go out and look for the signs yes or no or yeah this is happening so so is the biblical the the witness to the tower and that is in the old prophets and that is somebody who says okay it's happening it's happening that's why you need two witnesses because it represents the woman energy and it represents the child and the mother so they're going out and they're looking for the signs just like when they look to see what the new moon is there's always two person to do it so this leads into the the oracle the female oracle who is coming because delphi means the womb and she is prophet of the womb so it's Del Del philadelphia is sisterly love or the love of the womb so you just for the children so that they know what the signs are. Because if you don't want know what the signs are, then how are you supposed to know what's happening? Okay, three is the week of a family, of um, communication, coming together, uniting. And it's about God and the three in one. So we got father, mother, both feminine, female, and to the son, to the daughter, and how they trying together. So no more separating. This is coming together. So now we're looking at March 17th through the 23rd. And the creativity and abundance card came up. And guess what? It's a number three card. Isn't she just beautiful? The mother with all her little baby cherubs. And you know, right before I started this video, <laughs> my whole angel card deck fell on the floor and I was I was like okay so I had to go and pick up the fallen angels and then it clicked at me yeah I had to go and click up the fallen angels but it's like oh, get ready first get prepared I went to the bathroom washed my hands so it was pure and then I picked them up and I said I'm gathering my fallen angels I'm gathering them they're coming back home they're coming they're no more lost they're coming home so this is oh I'm getting goosebumps <laughs> look I'm getting goosebumps so this is the time that you are being called home you're being called to truth because that was you know the cards before and now you're being called again to truth that no more are you going to be feeling lost you're going to be called home and some of the other things that are coming up is that expected birth okay so last week it was all about um gestation and nurturing so now it's ex and getting ready to have that baby get ready for that project to bloom get ready for something big and and wonderful bigger than you could ever imagine this is the type of action that we need to take with this creativity of abundance this is a great time to do things that you've been wanting to do and shift it into creativity mode get it out there start processing it start drawing it painting it um yeah this is great for all kinds of career um abundance for wealth and um families i mean this is a beautiful week to do that so we also um come into let's see it um january uh, for january okay so january is the god who was about openings and closings so he had his eye on the past but also the eye on the future so he had two faces so that's the kind is like okay we are reflecting on the past and we're looking into the future, but you also want to be present. So, um, yeah, and it's about the arches. It's about opening and closing doors. But making that action to start opening those doors because those are going to be opening. So it's just like you got the hibernation in March to the emergence for spring, which is just a couple weeks away. And then um, 
Yeah, so Janus is a gateway to the gods. So it's like one thing is open, another thing is going to be open. Once something is open, the God, Divine Mother is not going to close it. So that reminds me of in Revelations where it talks about um, the key of David. That once that those are opened and the seals are all opened, no one can close that. So that's how powerful that this week is. New beginnings, birth, and then the goddess who comes in is Nike. Isn't she beautiful? It's another three in that card as well. And Nike is about ambition and, and persistence. So yeah, great time for creativity. Ask your angels, ask the divine to what are you going to be doing for the expectation of birth? Now, like how young know, birds, they nest women, we go and we clean everything up and then, um, we make stuff. Sometimes we're sitting and we're making baby blankets or quilts. I mean, this is the kind of creativity that is coming into this kind of a birthing process. So um, she's coming into the September, and September is a really great month of expectations. Is number nine, and that is like the birthing process. It is called the seventh ember. So you got the seven plus nine, 16. And there's a lot of love and a lot of life with that leadership. And then it comes back to a seven. Seven is, oh my gosh, it's just like, that is showing you the way and the path and there's it's like boom, it's right up to you it's shown directly to you um it's also about um the defender the messiah and how they're coming to save you march 17th is saint patrick's day and so saint patrick he had this vision that he could save ireland he was, he was in slavery, he got out of slavery, and he converted the whole country of Ireland. Okay, so this is the kind of creativity and abundance that we need to think big. I mean, he could have conquered the whole world. So think big. I think of conquering the world with love. <laughs> so it's just like, think big, because this is the time that it's happening. Um, and then we're going into... Um, the full moon on the 20th and is also Purim and Purim is about Queen Esther and the, the joy and the exceedingly great joy, the conquering of enemies that this is actually going to be happening and watch out for um, events that are going out. Um, that is really awesome. It's also the changing of the astrology from what is it? Um, from Pisces into Aries. So the first part of the week up to the 20th is about the fish and the fish are people. And, um, and it's about water and they're going into Aries and that's like more about the fighting. Um, but we don't want to tap into the fighting, but we want to do that kind of action. Okay. So the, Fourth week of March, 24th through the 30th, is about out-of-box traditional things. God's order. So natural order. Universal order. These things are coming in that we're tapping into because no more can we just go, oh, it's this way. This is the natural order. And actually how all of every, uh, yeah, this whole reading, this whole message from the divine is so natural that it's going to flow and ooze. And you're just going to go, oh, I could have done this all the time if I would just, you know, listen. So, um, you know, last week in the middle of the week is full moon and it, um, we got the Queen Esther. I, yeah, I love Queen Esther. Well, she was a messiah to the people, but she didn't know who she was. And she was actually the bloodline of God. And so when she had that realization of that, then things changed. And she broke tradition. How did she do that? She went and presented herself to a king that was pro prohibited unless you were called by it. So she broke the tradition and she went before the king and presented her case and petitions and saved her people. So that kind of action is is still flowing into for the fourth week out of the box tradition. 
and we are going to be open to success and this is number seven so again it's back into the journey it's back into um wonderful things and successful and recognition and a promotion all these things are coming and if you are having a hard time with well i've never been on the spotlight you ask the angels and the divine to help you with your confidence to step into this and, th and i'm telling you now so you could be ready for it this is the you know like the first week of march you start thinking about that because it's happening it's like you're going to be radiated people are coming and you're going to get acknowledgement for this and you're going to be in the limelight so uh, ask your angels to build you into your inner confidence and your strength that this is happening here oh, i'm so excited i'm not supposed to be yell i have to tape this um like this so um this is also going to be a clarity of what your purpose is and what you were born to do how to tap into all of your beautiful qualities and then this is um a february card so this is about love right a big love we had um celebrations of presidents and leadership so this is um a great month of a great week for purification and to get ready for this transformation because it's going to be like out of this world it's incredible and in how this is coming in and i got so much information but um oh and then i do have to say that the primrose if you start seeing primroses around they're a beautiful little delicate flower these are the gateways to the fairies so we're going to start seeing fairies and elves and dwarves that we never saw other than pictures of things that we thought of, um, but we can't see. So like spiritual sight is coming that we're going to see these and we're going to, yeah, you're going to see different symbols. You're going to see, you know, shamrock. I mean, they're going to be growing out of everywhere. They're going to be placed in different things that you're going to go. Wow. These are signs that divine is like, this is happening. So look for those. Um, there was also a fire festival and some of the fire festivals that they would have is a cleansing process and then actually joining of soul flames, uh, soul mates, and they would jump over the fire, go through the fire and they would jump over it. It was a purification. So you'd be connected to the other side. Um, and it's beautiful. I just love that. So how many of you have been in the fire? Well, guess what? If you're looking for love or recognition, we got Aphrodite. She is the number two card. She is about love. She is about oozing and goozing with that kind of love. So if it's not about um, a looking for a relationship, but it's about increasing that because we got lots of February energies into a January energy where January is about being still and really coming into you know, keep throwing the other stuff in and making you better a newer person the perfect person the person that god the divine mother has called you to be and then we have um mama culture she is about water so that is a cleansing and it's it's beautiful so it's, it could be a very a, a roller coaster ride during this time because it's just like Okay, spotlight. <laughs> okay, am I ready for this? So yes, you are ready for this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. So get yourself ready. Get your body ready that you are ready. Get your you know, your mind clear that this is happening. Um, Mama, Mama Quocha is also under the August, and so is Miss um, Mama Killa. She's the moon. This is about reflection. So it's a, light, a lot of water and ocean reflection of getting past all the crud and being ready to receive and accept and uh, oh and i did another reading that august rush came to me so go and watch that movie is about a little boy who believed that when he made this composition that his birth parents would be joined and when he turned around that his parents would be there because he was in an orphanage and um it happens <laughs> people were like no we're not no we're not and yes it did it did happen so this is the kind of manifestation that is happening is go and watch that movie it's exceptional so that's where i get also in august 
it's the it's the eighth month so there's a lot of abundance with it so it just like really aligns up but we're not done yet because we got another two cards and we have isis who comes in and she says it's all about rebirth so you're being reborn you are being the new person so this is all confirmation of what i just told you and she is about june 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 and july so June is the sixth month, and that is about birth. It's about being in the moment. It's warmer. The things are blooming and blossoming. Things, you know, water comes in at the right time because we got water. So if it's been drought for a while, we have water coming in and blessings are being poured. So if you haven't um, experienced that before, you're going to be overloaded. Okay, so, oh, no, we actually got two more cards after this, and this is... Um, the Hindu goddess Lakshmi, and she's about fortune and good luck and abundance. <laughs> so I'm like, this week <laughs> is going to happen. And she's also about the July, so making bigger. So in the first week of March, you need to go and watch this. Things, yeah, if you're thinking too small, because the kind of blessings are coming in is just like outrageous. And then we have Yi, um, who is the sun. And she taps into the creativity that all these things that you put in, it's happening. They're, oh yeah, it's just like overwhelming of the warmth and embracing and love. And it's just like everything that you have worked for, um, don't work so hard now because now it's being poured in. So it's the, it's the most important time for potential to be made manifest in, and the embolic um, rituals of the belly, that this is um, um, you know time for the birthing process. It's awakening. Um, yeah, and we got Fortuna, the day of fortune, the wheel of fortune. So yeah, all of these things are happening in the fourth week. <laughs> so be ready. I am so excited for everyone. And it's, you know, so incredible on, um, you know, that process is just like, oh my gosh, am I really ready for this? And yes, you are, or I wouldn't be doing this. Okay, so the fifth month, five, is March 31st, and we're carrying it into April 6th. So, so that there's no lumps and no, um, the angel said that it's going to be more fluid, like water. It's just going to flow. The energy is going to keep going. And five is about teacher and students, but going back to be um, student teacher, it's a process. It's about the teacher. It is about miracles. Five is miracles. Yeah, miracle workers. It's about, you're going to see your miracle worker and how beautiful is that, that we get to see miracles just happening like that. And, you, and yeah, everyone's going to go, how did that happen? Okay. So then we have, um, the four of action. So isn't that just beautiful? It's a house with a beautiful yellow rose to it and yellow is friendship. It's friendly this is you don't give somebody you don't know a red rose that's very passionate very uh, romantic but a yellow rose is friendship so this is a friendship that is offered to you and I'm gonna cry because some of you has been like I have never been part of anything in my whole life I feel like I have been by myself my whole life and no this friendship is being offered to you I uh, just like wow. Okay, so this is the birth. This is it. This is the this is the week that the birthing happens. That this is your achievement. This is your abundance. This is your miracle that is happened, and you're gonna see it this week. And it's the prosperity and the contentment that you are getting right after you go through all that work and all that labor pain. So it's gonna be kind of difficult till that birthing process happens. And trust and be assured that you are going to be beautiful. And what you have put into this month is birthing into something even bigger than you could ever imagine. Okay, so it's about celebration. It's a very fiery. So yeah, it's just like all that hard work, but you're going to get that contentment. This is a great time for twin flames to be connected. Couples who are, um, you know, a stronger relationship. This is about weddings and engagements, 
this is yeah so if you're looking to get engaged yeah i would do it towards the end of um april like the fourth through the sixth because this is like the most prosperous time that you can possibly have in this whole month and in the last few years and um yeah and then enjoy yourself and take a break and just really get into it especially when things start getting like really chaotic and like the birthing pains and the contractions are happening that's when you just kind of back off and it's like okay i put it out there divine mother said it's happening just not to worry about it because it's you know that is there uh, I also get the month of May here too. So that's a celebration of the Oracle that what she has put out there and the signs that she's delivered that she's going to be made manifest as well. And people are going to understand and they're going to be awakened, right? And the birthing process is like, Oh, new person, new person. So incarnate, perfect person. This is some of the things that are coming. And then we also get into the letting go, <laughs> let go and let God. So this is the time to really enjoy yourself. If there's anything that is hindering you, you're not going to get that miracle, but let it go. Just trust. This is the time to really release the, the challenging past things that it's time to just to let all those go. Let all the traditional things go because new things are on the verge. I mean, bigger and better than you can ever believe. This is also about liberation and freedom from bondages. This is the sign for releasement of bondages. So do that <laughs> during the month. I'm going to be liberated. I'm going to be free. Then know that you are going to be totally and completely free. And I'm just like tinkling all over. So um, yeah. And you're going to spread your wings. And you can finally feel like you can fly. Woo! Um, this is transformational. This is resurrectional. So the things are, that have been dead is being raised to life. So, yeah, if you think that the daughter, that it doesn't exist, you're going to see the daughter. If you think that Mary Magdalene, that, you know, all her things that was put away, she's manifesting and she's making the appearance. I, I can go on and on. It's very metaphys um, metaphysical and seasonal changing that's ushering us into this particular moment. So, the goddesses that support this is Freya, and she is... A 15 card so we got another five in there and she is about radical acceptance so yeah the things that was so radical you're just like I accept it oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> we're gonna do it she's also about opening up and awakening and April is her month so it's about opening it up and there's just like that recognition so I think it's really cool that she comes into you know most of the week of that of this week um March 31st and April 6th, we have five days that are all about April and opening up. So it's the opening up so that the birthing process can happen. And then we have Gula. Isn't she beautiful? She's a 1-8. So she's about abundance and healing. So if you ever wanted to be healed, you're going to be healed. This is the time to really deal, you know, letting go of all that package because you're becoming a new person. Absolutely. Um, and then she goes back into me and everything points right back to the soothsayer, to the the oracle that all of these things are coming through this oracle, the sisterly love, the love of the womb, mother, she's coming and she's healing during this whole week. Then we have, um, this is the last one, the spider woman, and she is about co-creation. I don't want to say co-creation because Divine Mother, she comes as creator. She comes to deliver her children. Um, it reminds me of how Zeus went and saved his brothers and sisters from Cronus and cut open the belly, the cut open the womb, cut open the hollow, that this is the birthing process, this is the salvation, this is all happening, and um, 
yeah it's trans uh, yeah this is also like a sexual freedom if you feel like you've been bonded and that um can't express yourself you can't get pregnant that this is an opportune time of gestation uh, yeah this is a great time to have sex with a partner <laughs> so um it re reminds us that god is light and that from the darkness that we've been held in darkness for so long that you're being birthed into light and radiance and understanding and yeah you're gonna see god as mother i'm so excited i'm like i have like four pages five six pages <laughs> just on this last one it talks about druids in the fire festival uh, in the samhain and that is about um october and all hallows eve which is is means all things made pure all things made pure and um, they gathered on the hilltop and they threw their stuff into the fire and get burnt out. So the month of March is like the purification process for you to become cleansed. So purity is on the verge. That um, the other thing is um, this it's about the spring and then the new growth, the continuation of life. It's not about death. It's about life. So the birthing process, life. So don't worry about the things that is going on now. Think about this month because the birthing process is happening. So t sometimes we'll have to turn off TV. Sometimes we'll have to turn off radio. Put inspiring music on um, during this last week. Um, the birth of life is explosive expression. It's igniting of hearts, twin flames, souls, and spirits. It's a conquest. It's... um. It's about the bold assertion, I can't even say it, assertion, set course with the forward momentum. So all of this is going to keep going. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It's never ending. Oh my gosh. I am so excited for all of you. I can't even talk. I'm just so excited. Um, yeah, there is so much resilience that is within you and just hold on because we're at that point and getting through March and this is the birthing process and yeah, you're all going to go through it and you're going to be healed from it. So you're not going to be scathed going through this fire. You are going to be so healed and so whoa. Well, how come this didn't happen now? But I tell you what, things happen for a purpose and that the numbers don't lie. But when God has a perfect timing, it is that timing and we tap into that and we accept that no matter what. We don't say, oh, what's there and I'm not going to use it. No, you're going to receive it and accept it and big and powerful things are going to keep going on and on and on and on. It doesn't stop. So this is just the beginning and uh, join me tomorrow night. I'm going to be putting up the weekly. I'm going to use the new angel cards and um, we're going to use the energy cards. So you know what energy to put in for each and every day. And I know for me, it's been working. So like today, um, which I did this a week ago is about Easter and new beginnings. So, yeah, so um, it was amazing how the cards just kind of opened up and the angels are just like this, 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 divine mothers, like this, this, this. So everything is confirmation and everything happens for a specific reason. And we just need to hold on. We're almost there and we're doing it together. So don't think you're doing it by yourself. I have put into motion so many things already eight years ago that this is the abundance year. This is my abundance year. This is eighth year of my healing, of my finding out the truth of biblical text. And it's been amazing. So this is going to be the kind of amazing results that you're going to see as well. So I leave you with so much joy and expectations and so much peace and incredible love that you're not doing this by yourself, but Divine Mother is here with you. Thank you. And so please subscribe. Please share. We got to share all this abundant love with everyone. Have a great and blessed day.